You know, art's a funny thing. It's the most pervasive craft known to man, yet still the least visible. It is so critical to our existence as a species that not only does it appear in the name of our planet, Earth, it appears in our everyday lives. Fine art, fashion, film, and television, it's all art. We are literally surrounded by it, and yet it goes unnoticed and unacknowledged, and therefore unappreciated. When I first told my grandparents that I wanted to go to art school, my granddad told me, black people don't do art. Now, by a show of hands, who can name eight black basketball players? Good. Now, name eight black rappers. Now, who out there is able to name me eight black visual artists, not rappers? A lot less hands went up. Why is that? I mean, how do we live in a world composed of and organized by art, yet we don't even know the names of any black artists as immediately as we know the names of our black athletes and musicians? In current state, the societal terrain hasn't made room, bandwidth, or investment in the arts. Hasn't made room for, bandwidth, or investment in the arts particularly for people of color because there are no examples of excellence that look like us. Someone that transcends the arts, so much so that everyone, even someone like my grandfather knows who they are. Knows who they are. Now, what exactly constitutes an example of excellence? One, finance. Two, influence. And three, social impact. Now, with this criteria in mind, who can people of color look at as an example of excellence? Jay-Z, Oprah, LeBron James. All of these people fit the description of an example of excellence. 